So somebody finally figured out how to have eternal life without Jesus Christ. A US tech entrepreneur named Brian Johnson had this to say about aging in the 21st century. Put it simply, you don't want to die. Yeah, that's right. The goal is don't die. We are currently in the midst of the biggest transition of our species, where we're going from death being inevitable to having some unknown horizon of how long and how well we can live. And I'm the first example of that in the world. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Just spend $2 million a year and you won't die. So you don't need Jesus anymore. When I first watched this video, I felt a couple of different ways, but I mean, I think the one thing is, who are you kidding? Realistically, everybody is going to die. Now, in the 21st century with modern technology and the different things that we have available, of course, you can extend your life and have a better quality of life, but I think that's a given. And even in the Bible, we see that before the flood and even shortly after the flood, people living to 900, 800 years, and after the flood, even 200, 170 years. So the idea that we should typically live around 100 years if you're really good about it, or maybe a little bit longer than that, or if you're, if you're really healthy, maybe 80 to 90 years on average, is a pretty new idea. There's this thought process in evolution that we see all the time that contradicts the Bible, that the older it was, the less better it was, and the newer it is, the better it is. So as we've grown as a species, the more advanced we've gotten, the longer that we're able to live. And the Bible says the exact opposite. The Bible says when we were first created with Adam and Eve, we had the best DNA. We could live the longest. We were the healthiest. And Brian Johnson isn't the first person to try to figure out how to live forever. In fact, from China to Spain, everyone has been looking for the elixir of youth or the fountain of life. But when you have folks like Ray Kurzweil or other futurists, the idea is always the same. How can we attain eternal life through the extension of our consciousness? Do you hope to achieve the longevity escape velocity? Do you hope to achieve immortality? Well, immortality is hard to say. I can't really come on your program saying, I've done it. I've right. achieved immortality right. because it's never forever. I'd like to actually advance human life expectancy, advance my life expectancy more than a year every year. And I think we can get there within by the end of this decade. You hear a lot of conversations around this idea of the singularity, which was highlighted in the Avatar film. In the movie Avatar, we think it's an action movie about alien life, but really what it's about is the extension of life beyond the grave through what they have on this planet. And even at the end of Avatar, we see that singularity kind of revealed, where the main character leaves his human body and goes into an alien body and extends his life by translating his consciousness. And you see it everywhere in popular media, including a recent show that came out called Upload where a man's consciousness is literally translated into a machine. But as we know from the Bible, end time deceptions are gonna pop up, and this is just one of many. The idea that you can live forever without Jesus Christ. And ultimately, even if Brian Johnson is successful, let's say that he lives to a million, it doesn't account for all the people who have already died and lost their lives. And what's amazing and an awesome revelation is that God gives us that through Jesus Christ. So really, if Brian Johnson wants to live forever, all he has to do is surrender his life to Christ. And not only will he live forever, he'll get all the blessings and benefits of having that relationship with God right now and be able to tell other people about it and help other people live forever. You don't need $2 million a year or anything like that. All you have to do is surrender your heart and your life to Jesus Christ. And I think that's a much better bargain and a much easier way to go about it than what Brian Johnson is presenting. So as we start seeing more of these exceptions, let's keep vigilant, keep our eyes focused on Jesus, and as always, continue to light up Babylon.